Welcome to the Soul Side Talk Show. I'm your host, David J. Dill. This is another episode of Friday Night Fire, episode number nine in our series in which we are dealing with Dr. Albert Einstein's statement. He said, the most important decision we make is whether we believe we live in a friendly or a hostile universe. And in our previous episodes, we discussed the fact that a belief is nothing but a thought that we practice again and again and again. A thought that we dwell on in our minds. You see what I'm saying? And if you practice the thought long enough, that thought will become a belief. And if you believe that thought long enough, it'll become a stronghold. Some strongholds are good. There are some strongholds we want in place. It's the strongholds that we don't want which need to be torn down the way scripture talks about, right? So there are certain ways that we have been believing for so long that it's hard to break it. It's hard to stop the momentum of those unwanted beliefs, but it is possible. Now, every time we saw Christ perform a miracle, what was he doing? Well, if you look at a miracle as being the activation of a heavenly reality in our earthly experience, if you look at a miracle that way, what was Christ actually doing? He was activating the friendly universe scenario in our world, right? And what was he doing? Well, it, when he when he performed the various miracles he performed in, in the activation of heaven's reality in our earthly experience, he was actually showing us the possibilities, showing us the different things that we can believe for. The only reason that we created the unwanted scenarios was because we dwelt on those things to the point where they became physical realities. And those physical realities were unwanted. And what tends to happen is once, once, a thing manifests before your very eyes, you have a tendency to believe that it's real because you created it. You see what I'm saying? You believe in what you create because you created it. That thing is right there in front of you, right? And if it happens to be something that is unwanted, something that is from the hostile universe, if it's a hostile universe scenario that is unwanted, and, but, but because it's right in front of you, you tend to believe that it's real. And because you're still practicing the thought of that thing again and again, what's happening? The, the, uh, the attraction-based universe that we live in is picking up on our thoughts, the vibrations of the thoughts we think about. We feel those vibrations as well, whether they'll show up in the way of a negative or a positive emotion. We can tell the nature of the different thoughts that we're thinking, whether they are from the friendly universe or whether they are from the hostile universe. If, if we focus on a friendly universe scenario, right, whether, whether it's something that has played itself out already, or whether it's still imaginary in our minds, just by focusing on it, those scenarios will feel good to us. And so what's happening? The attraction-based universe is picking up on those vibrations and then returning the physical version of what we're, of what we're vibrating back to us, you see. But if we happen to be focusing on a negative, uh, hostile universe scenario if we're focusing on that well what kind of emotions are we are we uh creating on the inside when we do that they're usually negative emotions fear or uh anger or whatever whatever the situation is the attraction-based universe is picking up on our negative vibrations at that point and then What's going to happen next is it's going to return the physical versions of whatever we're vibrating back to us, you see. So this is how it's all playing out in this world where thoughts become things, right? So, yeah, 
it's highly important that you be able to understand the difference between a hostile universe scenario that's being presented to you either in a conversation or in the news or a social media post that you happen to be looking at online, whatever it is, uh, a news article, you know, is it being presented to you from the hostile universe scenario or is what you're looking at and entertaining, is it coming from a friendly universe scenario? Well, you can feel the difference. You can feel the difference right in your heart. You can feel it in your body. You can feel it in your mind. You know whether what you're focusing on is making you feel good or feel bad. You see, and what I'm saying to you is that your feelings definitely matter. Your feelings, how you feel about a situation, is telling you whether you are in line with the destiny that you have set forth before you entered this physical world. See, before you got here, you came from the heavenly realm. If you look at the scripture in Genesis 2 and 7, and you see that when God breathed into man's nostrils and man became a living soul, we understand ourselves to be two-dimensional beings. We understand ourselves to have come from the friendly universe. We understand ourselves to be living in a world where thoughts become things. And because of the beliefs in hostile universe scenarios, that's why they're playing themselves out in this world. But guess what? If a thousand different people are attracting hostile universe scenarios to themselves in this world, and, and, and they're playing themselves out in the world, and you happen to see them, right? You have to have, to, you have, to have, have made a decision in your mind as to whether that's going to be your reality also or whether it's not going to be your reality, you see. And so that's what this is about. That's what this message is about. You do have creative control as to what you want to see happen in your world. That's what I love about Dr. Albert Einstein's statement. He's saying the most important decision we make, let's just break it down right there. You do have a choice as to which scenario is going to play out in your experience. No matter what anybody else is going through, no matter what's going on with everybody else in the world, you have a say-so as to what your experience is going to be. That's what I love about it. You see, you have the ability to choose the most important decision you make is whether you believe in a friendly or a hostile universe. I want the friendly universe. So what do I do? I declare it. I speak it forth. Friendly universe scenarios are on the way to me this day and every day of my life. I believe in the friendly universe that I came from. That's why things from the friendly universe feel good to me. Feeling good is natural. It's not, an anom it's not an anomaly. Feeling good is not supposed to be an occasional anomalous thing that happens every now and then. No, feeling good is the norm. You understand? And, um, and we have a choice. Yes, we can be deliberate in what we wanna see happen next. We may not understand the exact nuts and bolts of exactly how it's all going to occur, but we do have a say-so as to what comes our way. You understand what I'm saying? This is about you being deliberate in your creation by you stating your intent, what you want to see happen. And without that intent being set, you know what? you open yourself up to, you open yourself up to some of anything. That's why they say uh, the, uh, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. You see, 
That's that's where hostile universe that's where hostile universal that's where hostile universe scenarios have the opportunity to uh come into your experience by default. By default. Why? Because you are a creator. Why? You why are you a creator? Because you've been created in the image and the likeness of the creator to create. And you came here for the experience of manifesting your thoughts into physical form. That's what you actually came here for, you see. But if you are focusing your mind on things that are unwanted, those are the things that are going to come into your experience. And if you can just get to that point where you understand how what's coming to you is coming to you. You see, we consider ourselves to be victims. We consider ourselves to be, uh, that, that life is happening to us. And we don't understand ourselves to be magnets. But do you know what? The electromagnetic field of our minds and our hearts is something that's measurable, scientifically measurable. Quite literally, we are magnets, you see. And so what we think about, we bring about. We activate whatever it is we are practicing the thoughts about. So how do we, how do we become more deliberate in what we want to see happen next? How do we become more deliberate in the things that occur in our experience? How do we filter out more and more of what we don't want to see? How do we filter that stuff out? Well, here's the trick. And, and it's not really a trick. It's just something to keep in mind. If you focus on what you don't want and don't like, Job 3.25 is very clear what will happen. The thing that I feared the most came upon me. It came to me. So you're not trying to push away negative stuff. That's not what you're trying to do. The only thing you need to do is to not give it your focus. And to give, give focus to the things that you want to see happen next. And, and every now and then, your mind might drift back to some of the unwanted stuff. That's okay. Just when you catch yourself. And that's the whole point. You're trying to catch yourself before you dwell, before you build too much momentum and by dwelling on stuff you don't like and don't want. See, you shut that stuff down by dwelling more and more on what you like and what you want. Quite literally, you need to do some daydreaming. Quite literally, you need to use your imagination. Boy, that sure would be nice when I get that new car. Oh my God, I can feel what it's like sitting behind the wheel right now. You see what I mean? <laughs> Don't get me started on some stuff, man. I can keep going. But, but, but see, that's the whole point. That's what you want to do. You want to keep going and, and stay out ahead of negativity how do you stay out ahead of negativity by thinking about the positive things you want to see happen next start your day that way and expect what you're wanting to come forth simply because you have declared it to be so this is my reality today this is what i want to see happen next see now, a lot of us, we get caught up in praying, oh Lord, let this happen and let that happen. He's trying to let you know, look, I gave you the power to decree and to declare what you want to see happen next. Speak it. Ask and it is given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. He's telling you to expect what you want to see happen next to come forth. And when you do that, now you've given it the energy it needs to do so. Is that all right? I'm David J. Dill, host of the Soul Side Talk Show. 
and I pray you come back for one more episode. All right.